Thunderstruck may be one of the greatest orchestrated rock guitar songs of all time. Starting with an unforgettable lead riff that continues throughout the entire recording, it's also layered with locomotive rhythm patterns and thunderous bridge and chorus rhythms. This song features two guitar solos that will have your fingertips begging for mercy, one near the middle and an outro that starts with fills and builds up to a blistering, full-blown guitar solo packed with tons of bends and vibrato. Phrase one begins by sounding the second string open. From there, the rest of the notes are sounded with hammer-ons and pull-offs only. Index to the fourth fret, pull to open, then the ring or pinky to seven, pull to open, then repeat. You want to play this a total of eight times. Then move up one fret, pulling five to open, then eight to open, and repeat eight times. To prevent unwanted notes from ringing out, I rest my middle finger of my picking hand on the first string and lay my thumb across strings three to six. This way only the second string can ring out. After phrase one repeats several times, phrase two continues to sound second string notes using hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hammer your ring finger to 12, pull to open, index to 10, open, 9, open. Not reflecting the rhythm, I broke this section into patterns of three. The next group of hammer-ons is 10, open, 9, open, 7, open, then 9, open, down to 5, open, 7, open. To wrap up this section, index to 4, open, middle to 5, open, repeat 4, open, 5, open, again 4, open, 5, open, and with 4, open. Then repeat all of phrase 2. Malcolm Young plays a very syncopated rhythm holding a B5 power chord during the intro and verse. The B5 is held with the index on the 5th string 2, ring on 4th string 4, and pinky on 3rd string 4. Palm mute the chord, and downstroke then upstroke just the 3rd and 4th strings, followed by a downstroke on the 5th string 2nd fret B bass note. Play the middle chord notes again with a downstroke. Next is a downstroke on the B bass. Then downstroke on the middle strings. To wrap up the rhythm, 
downstroke on the middle strings, then up on the bass note. And again, down on the middle strings, up on the bass note. And repeat. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Phrase 4 is played over the second verse. Start with a B5 on the 5th and 4th string only. Drop down to A5. 5th string open with 4th string 2. And a quick change to E5. Repeat A5, A5 to E5. Then repeat the whole section. B5, A5 to E5. Double A5. And on B5. There is also a very subtle overdub added for texture. Play B5, 6th string, 5th fret A, then E5. Back to the 5th fret, 5th fret again with vibrato, drop to the open E by itself. Next is a subtle change. Instead of the B5, just play the B note with vibrato. 6 string notes, 5 open, 5, 5 with vibrato, open. While Malcolm plays the syncopated B5 rhythm, another overdub guitar simply plays a B5, which rings out for a duration and is repeated four times throughout the song. As the guitar parts build up, the band comes in with very aggressive power chords. A full B5, A5, to E5. All include the root, the fifth, and the octave. The next three repetitions start on A5, then repeat the B5, A5, B5 pattern. Phrase 5 is layered with Malcolm playing higher on the neck. For phrase 6,
play a B5 up on the 6th string 7th fret with the ring on the 5th string 9, pinky on the 4th string 9. Drop down 2 frets for A5, then up 2 frets for an inverted E5 by barring the 6th and 5th string 7th fret, and your pinky should already be in place for the 4th string 9. And slide down the 4th string. The second time, start on A5, up to B5, A5, then to the inverted E5, but this time, let the 6th string 7th fret ring out, then slide down the 6th string. Repeat A5, B5, A5, then the inverted E5, allowing the 4th and 5th string notes to ring out as you slide down the neck. To do this, use your picking hand to mute the 6th string. The 4th repetition is similar. A5, B5, A5, but add to the inverted E5. 7th fret is barred, ring is on the 4th string 9, and move the pinky to the 3rd string 9, sliding the ring and pinky notes down the strings. Phrase 7 gives us the chorus starting on B5 to A5. Malcolm plays the 4th and 5th strings open, hammering to the 2nd fret. Then A5 to E5. Angus plays the same chords, B5, A5, but picks the 4th and 5th string open, and then picks the 2nd fret notes, instead of using the hammer. End with A5 to E5. Phrase 9 shows us the rhythm behind the guitar solo. Double up on E5 to B5, palm mute, strings 5 and 6, and strum open, 2nd fret, open. Play A5, then E5. Then repeat a total of 4 times. Next is a quick B5 to A5 and a mute. This is also played 4 times.
Start the guitar solo in phrase 10 with heavy pick slides down the neck. Follow by tapping the edge of the pick on the sixth string and slide up the neck. Barring the ninth fret, play strings three and four, then three and two with vibrato, and on a single fourth string, ninth fret with vibrato. Drop down to fifth string seven with vibrato. Fourth string seven with a slight bend. And end on second and third string nine with heavy vibrato. Phrase 11 starts with the third string, ninth fret bend, and a descending run from first string 7 to second string 10, 7, third string 9, 7, and on fourth string 9 with vibrato, and a slide down the neck. Palm mute the fifth string, play a muted note, or an unfretted note, then 9, then muted, to fourth string 7 with a slight bend, 7 bend again, to 9 with vibrato. With a very heavy picking approach, phrase 12 starts on a 3rd string, 9 with a bend, Hold, pick nine three more times, then release the bend, and play the next group of notes with hammer-ons and pull-offs. Seven, ten, nine, seven, stretch to twelve, to seven, ten, nine, seven. Next is fourth string nine, third string nine with vibrato, seven with a slight bend, and then fourth string nine with vibrato. Phrase 13 begins up on the first string 17 with a full bend, 17 natural, 14, to second string 17 bend and release, 15, 17 bend, to first string 17, 14, to second string 17, back to 14, then second string 17 bend and release, 15, to third string 16, then back to second string 15 with a full bend. Repeat, repeat again, adding vibrato, and a slide down the neck. which is played over the B5 to A5 rhythm. Start on fourth string nine, to third string seven, back to nine, then seven again, adding vibrato. Third string nine, seven, nine, bend, release, pull the seven, and end on fourth string nine with vibrato. The rest is similar, but we're adding double notes. Fourth string nine, to a bar on the second and third string seven. Back to nine, back to the bar and seven again with vibrato. Second and third string notes are played together. A nine, seven, nine with a bend and release, pull to seven, and on fourth string nine with vibrato. Repeat this double note section a total of three times. Thank you.
just before the outro rhythm, there's a quick guitar fill. Third string, ninth fret, bend and release four times. Then pull to seven, and end on fourth string, nine with vibrato. To change things up, the outro chorus is played slightly different. B5 to 6th string, 2nd fret hammer to 4, and end on E5 and repeat. There are some guitar fills that are scattered here and there, playing 3rd string 16 to 19 to 2nd string 17, back to 19, pull off to 16, and slide down the 3rd string just a little bit. Next is the 2nd string 17, bend 15 to 3rd string 16, back to 2nd string 15, bend and release to third string 16, 16 with vibrato. Phrase 18 gives us another quick fill, starting on the second string 19 with a one and a half step bend. First string 17, second string 19, 17, 15, 17, 15 hammer to 17, and then 15 with vibrato. After a few scattered fills, a full outro solo begins with phrase 19. Third string, 21st fret bend. Second string, 22, pull to 19. Back to 21, bend, bend again. Next is the third string, 21st fret bend to the second string, 19, that is repeated a total of 12 times. Phrase 20 bends 3rd string 21, release and pull to 19, to 4th string 21, 21 again with vibrato. 2nd string index on 15, bend 17, pre-bend and release 17, pull to 15, to 3rd string 16, pull and hammer on 2nd string 17, 15, 17, 15 with vibrato and slide down the neck. Second string 17, bend, and then play the first string 17. Repeat this two more times. Pre-bend the second string and pick both strings, releasing the bend, then move up to 19, then 22 with a bend, 22 by itself, then 19. Play again, and two more times. Phrase 22, play the second string, pick and bend 
the 22nd fret three times. 22 then 19. Descend from first string 22 with a bend. 22 19. Second string 22 19. Third string 21 bend. Release, pull the 19, and slide to wrap up. Phrase 23 ends the outro solo on the 2nd string 17 to 3rd string 16, back to 17 with a bend, to 1st string 17, back to 2nd string 17 bend, to 1st string 17, then slide down strings 1 and 2. Hell's Bells combines haunting arpeggios and rock-solid power chord rhythms. The lead break starts off with a bluesy double note feel and quickly escalates to a rock guitar solo masterpiece. At the end of the song, we are graced with an outro guitar solo that makes expert use of unison bends. Angus Young starts off the song with the main riff. For phrase 1, start by barring your index finger on the 4th string 7 and 3rd string 7, adding your ring finger to the 3rd string 9. With this chord in place, pick strings 5, 3, then 4. Lift the ring finger, exposing the 7th fret bar, and pick strings 3, 4, and 5. Drop the bar down to the 5th fret and pick strings 3, 4, and 5. Then play the 3rd string 7. For the first ending, play the 4th string 7, then the 5th string open. Repeat the riff. But for the second ending, play a C5 power chord. 5th string 3rd fret, along with the 4th string 5th fret. Strum, then drop your index finger down to the 5th string 2nd fret, while keeping your ring or pinky on the 4th string 5. 
This is a B5 augmented. So you play the C5, B5 augmented, and then repeat the whole intro rhythm. To bridge to the verse, the first six notes are the same. Then double up on a G5. Index on the 6th string 3rd fret, ring on the 5th string 5th fret, pinky on the 4th string 5th fret. Strum twice. Next, switch to an open D5, 2nd string 3rd fret with the middle finger, 3rd string 2nd fret with the index, 4th string is open, and the 5th string open A is also played to fill out the chord. Next is a 5th string walk down. Three, two, and open. Here's a very slow practice run playing N1, N2, and the bridge to the verse. While Angus plays the main riff, his brother Malcolm comes in on ending two The song TNT starts out with an E5 power chord. Just combine the 6th string open with your index finger on the 5th string 2nd fret. And if you've been playing guitar a little while, you can also add the 4th string 2nd fret by barring your finger across the 5th and 4th strings. For beginners, this might be a little bit tricky, so you have my permission to cheat and play only the 5th and 6th strings until you get a little stronger. Strum down on strings 6, 5, and 4 to ring out the chord while the drums build up to start the song. When the verse starts, play another E5, then mute the strings. There are two ways to do this. You can lay the palm of your picking hand across the strings to deaden the notes. And as a backup, you can use your free fingers of your playing hand to mute the strings by laying them across the fret. If you do both together, you'll definitely get a good mute. There's an open G5 power chord. Place your middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, allowing the bottom of your skin to touch the 5th string, muting the string and preventing any notes from ringing out. As you strum this chord, you're also going to include the open 4th and 3rd strings. So with your middle finger in place, strum down on strings 6, 5, 4, and 3. Let the chord ring out, then mute the strings. The next chord is an A5, 5th string open, index finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, along with a finger bar across the 3rd string 2nd fret. Just like the E5, beginners can cheat and skip the bar for now. Just be sure to let the notes ring out, and then mute the chord like before. While you mute the A5 chord, play the 6th string 3rd fret with your middle finger, a quick change to the A5 chord, 
then return to the 6th string 3rd fret and give it a slight bend. Just keep pressure on the note and give it a smear across the fingerboard. That makes up the chord changes to the verse. Again, it's E5, mute, G5, mute, A5, mute with the 6th string G note, A5, G, and bend, then repeat several times. There are also some rhythm variations to the verse. Since there are two guitars in the mix, Angus and Malcolm Young often play slightly different rhythm parts. To enhance the E5, bar the second fret as we learned earlier, but angle your finger to lightly touch the third string. Since you're not holding the third string against the fretboard, the strings will be muted and prevent any strained notes. Next, you want to allow the second and first string to ring out with the rest of the chord. It's a little tricky if you're just starting out. When you get to the A5 chord, you can make it an A chord by adding the second string, second fret to the finger bar. The rest of the rhythm remains the same. There is an end tag to each verse where you play the chords a little different. Play the E5, then mute, but when you change to G5, let the chord ring out, then switch to an A5, allowing it to ring out as well. Here's a practice run playing the verse at half speed. You can play along using the basic power chords, E5, G5, to A5, or you could play along using the extended E5 and A chord.
To start off the guitar solo in phrase 6, Powell mute the open 6th string, followed by heavy vibrato on the 5th string 7, another 6th string palm mute, 5th string 5 with vibrato, mute, then 4 with vibrato. Palm mute again, then back up to 7, 4th string 5, 7, 7 bend, release, Pull to 5, back to 7 with vibrato, then palm mute and 5th string 7. Next is the same walk down, mute 7, mute 5, mute 4, then 3rd string 7, pick 4 times quickly muting each note, then a 5th time with a full bend and vibrato. Position your index finger on the 2nd string 5 to start off phrase 7. Ring on 8, back to 5, a muted note on the 3rd string, then the 9th fret with your middle finger and vibrato. 9 again, to 2nd string 8 with the index, 10, hammer to 11, pull to 10, pull to 8, pick 10, 8, back to 3rd string 9, Mute, 9. For those muted notes, I'm relieving pressure from the note but still touching the string. Using the same hand position for phrase 8, play 2nd string 8, 3rd string 9, back to 8, up to 10 with the ring finger, and a bend, 1st string 10 with the pinky, letting this ring out while you bend and hold 2nd string 10. Pick the 1st string, then 2nd string and release the bend. Wow. 